Howdy, it's Uncle Paul, and I ate a slice of pizza. Well, it is Sunday afternoon, and uh, on Sundays after worship in the morning, I often will run by Sam's Club and get me two rotisserie chickens. These are big chickens. They're $5 a piece at HEB and Walmart. Uh, you get, you can buy uh, one rotisserie chicken that's much smaller than these for seven to $8. So yeah, it's definitely worth, and I get two. I'll eat maybe today for lunch, I'll eat maybe half of one of those. And then this is bacon and I've got something uh, planned special for this as uh, when I do some uh, prep cooking this afternoon. I like to buy my bacon in ends and pieces, mainly because it's just cheaper that way. Uh, and I've, I've watched a lot of videos recently on uh, cooking it in a pot, putting a lid on it, just stirring it occasionally to, to get it nice and crisp. It, it's, it works and uh, it's less messy because I've, you know, I've done it, of course, over the years on a griddle in my iron skillet on the stove. I've done it in the fry, in the uh, oven, which, which I like to do. That's usually what I do. But when I saw these videos, I tried this and, uh, and I liked it. I had to, I set it on probably the stove on a medium high and not you know, totally high because I was afraid it would burn. And I had to come stir it every five minutes or so, then every three minutes. And then I finally just stood there and tended to it till it was done. And I liked it. So I'll probably do it again, I'm sure. Okay, this is nearly done. It's about as crisp as I wanted to get. Well, it is Saturday morning. Uh, it's pushing 11 o'clock, and I don't know what the temperature is, but it, it really is nice. No clouds in the sky, a little bit of a cool breeze blowing. That's uh, It's refreshing to finally have that. Um, I'm gonna be mowing the yard here soon, so it's, it's perfect weather for that. So uh, this has been a good week. Uh, I mean, it, you know, I've stuck to my eating plan, which is carnivore, uh, for the most part. Uh, and I've not been tempted all week for the most part. Uh, it, it, this week was a lot like last week in that, you know, I, my net loss last week was 6.2 pounds, which was great. Um, and, but I had started off the week waking up one morning and I had gained two pounds uh, from the previous morning, which, you know, I weigh every day and I know the pros and cons and, and, and all of that. So, uh, so I'm, I'm aware of that and I, I know how to deal with it, but I like to keep track, you know, clo close eye on things. So, you know, but then, uh, you know, as the week went on last week, I woke up one morning and had lost four pounds, you know, from the previous morning. So, you know, that I know that's how it can work. There's a lot of a lot of things uh, uh, that go into that. So, uh, but so this week it was very similar. I had put on a couple pounds or so, and you know I was gradually losing it, you know, half a pound at a time, sort of. So I'm like, okay, I, you know, I changed some things up a bit and was a little bit more careful, maybe. And so I was thinking, okay, well, by the end of the week here, you know, I'll, you know, it'll it'll turn out kind of the same as last week, and I was kind of on track for that. And but then yesterday. Yesterday at, at work, uh, you know, and I knew this was coming because they announced it like the day before, you know, that we we're gonna have pizza, the staff was gonna have pizza for lunch. And so, you know, it didn't tempt me at all. I was, the only thing that tempted me a little bit was to eat the toppings uh, off a couple of pieces. I didn't do it though. I had lunch that I was satisfied with that I brought with me. So I sat down in there and I and 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 had lunch and then uh I had to pass through several times during the day uh and didn't touch that pizza at all that was sitting there. So uh I was, you know, I was pleased with myself. I 
proud, you know. Well, I get home <laughs> and I didn't have anything thought out. I was hungry uh, and didn't, didn't have any eggs or anything. The only thing I had thought out was a pork roast. So I put that in the oven real quick uh, and it was gonna take an hour. And so while I feel like, feel like I'm starving, uh, you know, I, I look in the, in the uh, refrigerator and there's leftover pizza from the night before, I think it was, that uh, my sister-in-law and my nephew uh, brought home. So, which I didn't eat any of that then, of course. But, uh, so it got to me. Uh, so it wasn't all that pizza all day long, nearly at school. It was the pizza in the refrigerator. So I, they, they had several of the deep dish slices, uh, squares, you know. So I put that in the microwave, heated it up, had, ate one of those. And then also I ate one uh, Oreo Thin Mint cookie. The chocolate, you know, covered, I think. I, no, they're not chocolate covered, I don't think. But anyway, uh, a Thin Mint, one of those. Uh, so, the, so I wasn't happy about that. I'm not kicking myself too hard because, you know, in the past, what I would have done, or I have done sometimes, not every time that I would get off like a little bit like that, is I'd have the mindset, well, you know, I'm already off, so... I'm just gonna have a good day tomorrow and maybe purchase a few things, not a bunch, but little things that I'm craving, maybe a little bit of sweets, a, you know, a little bit of this or that, and, and just not go overboard. And then sometimes I can come back even from that, but not always, sometimes it just kind of keeps going. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't really have those thoughts and I'm back on track. I feel strong and good. So I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not beating myself too much, uh, beating myself up too much about it. But I'm in a competition, and I just need to lose weight, obviously. And so I don't want this to be one of many failures, uh, as far as you know, uh, continuing to lose it and then keeping it off. So um, so it's put me back. I don't I didn't weigh this morning. I'll wait tomorrow morning and see what kind of damage it, it, it did to me, but uh, but I'm enjoy. I still really am enjoying what I'm doing on this uh, carnivore diet. It feels satisfying to me. Physically, I'm feeling better uh, than I have in a long time. I'm able to move around better and walk better, uh, and I don't have as many aches and pains. My clothes are fitting better. My you know uh, all that stuff. So uh, so that gives me confidence that motivates me to keep going. Ah, good Sunday morning, everybody. Well, I did have a loss on the week, after all. I lost a little over half a pound, a little over half a pound. So, you know what? I'm, I'm not, like, bummed out because it wasn't uh, more or a lot more than that. You know, because it, things could have gone awry, you know, very quickly, much more than uh, than what it did. So, you know, I, I'm not that disappointed. But uh, so I'm feeling good. Uh, and, you know, by the way, the, this, the carnivore diet, that's not something that I'm promoting or I'm pushing or anything like that. I've done all kinds of different different types of eating, different diets. Uh, this is what I'm doing right now. And, um, you know, so I'm not trying to um, uh, sway anybody's opinion on it because I know there's there's strong opinions about every kind of uh, way of eating, every kind of diet. And the carnivore diet is, is not any different. Um, one thing I might try to start doing this week, uh, change things up, is intermittent intermittent fasting. I haven't been doing that for a good while. Uh, I thought, well, I want to see what, what, uh, what it's like, how I do without it. It's been going okay without intermittent fasting, but, uh, you know, I'm in a competition once again. I'm going to try that, I think, for, for a little bit. So I'm looking forward uh, to this next week again, losing more weight. So I hope you're all, all doing well and have a, a great week coming up. Uh, I appreciate you watching so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and Lord willing, I will see you next Sunday.